If you're looking for your next haircut in Goshen and you want an authentic barbershop experience so you don't look like this anymore, what better place to do it than the Goshen News 2024 Best of the Best Barbershop, Raleigh's Barber Den. Let's take a look. So now we're down in the basement of Brawley's Barber Den with owner and head barber, Sean Brawley. Sean, first and foremost, thanks so much for having us down here. It's a cool change of pace for us to get out of the studio a little bit and do an interview uh, in a good setting while I'm getting my haircut, which is a bonus too. Absolutely. Two birds, one stone. I like it. Exactly. I'm glad to have you guys down here. Thanks for coming and checking it out. So let's start off with uh, kind of the basics. Give me some background. What got you into hair and, and made you want to become a barber? Well, well, a couple of different reasons on uh, why I got into barbering. You know, I started out in the Marine Corps. I was just, you know, shaving my own head down, trying to save a buck. And then I got buddies who were unable to make it to the barber on Sunday. So they come knocking at my door, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock at night, looking to get buzzed down, get uh, just so they didn't get in trouble. So I started off with buzz cuts mainly. Um, but then, you know, I started getting on YouTube and lurking up how to do fades and things like that. And, you know, I just kind of did it for just to help myself and uh, my buddies out at first. And then I got out of the Marine Corps and I bounced around a bunch of different jobs. And you know what? I just, I just hated all of them. I wasn't happy. I wasn't working with my hands. I wasn't being creative and I wasn't allowed to be myself, it seemed like. So, you know, I didn't consider it as a career option, but after I was, you know, working in the corporate world and realized how miserable I was, I was like, you know what? Time for a change. So I, uh, Quit my job and became a barber. Went off to barber school and uh, rest is history. I fell in love with it. This is uh, where I needed to be. You came from Denver to Goshen. Obviously, that's a very big change of pace. Oh, Denver, yeah. big city, Goshen, uh, small town. When you got here, what was the acceptance like for you? How did everybody react? And uh, you know, how did you work your way kind of into the community, getting to know other business owners and uh, other local barbers? When I first came here, um, Everybody seemed very friendly and very neighborly, you know, and uh, that was awesome. That was so great, you know, coming from Denver and big city, everybody's looking out for themselves all the time. And small businesses is, is kind of a thing there, but not like it is with the small community, you know. So, you know, my wife, she's been a part of this community, you know, her whole life for the most part. Um, she was born and raised here, so I had a lot of, you know, already founded connections through my and my in-laws and everything, so that made things, you know, helped out a little bit, but uh, I don't know, I just tried to genuinely be myself, and uh, uh, it seems like the community of Goshen really seems to, to like what I'm offering over here, so it's been really great, and the community's really taken a like into this shop, and that makes me very happy. When I first started coming, it was just you down here cutting hair. You've expanded. You've got a second barber in the shop now. As a business owner, what's that like to kind of sit back and uh, and recognize like, wow, I've got so much clientele that, you know, I can't keep up with it on my own anymore. I've got to add people to help me uh, to help me staff and keep up with the day-to-day the -day need. Oh, it's uh, it fills my heart, you know, uh, just to know that this community has come out and supported me so much and like that what I've provided here so much so that I need I need help, you know. There was a time there, yeah, I was down here by myself and I was getting burnt out. I was getting burnt out real quick and uh, I needed I needed some help and, uh, you know, Edgar over here, he's uh, he's been a great addition to the shop here and he's really uh, helped me out a lot and has really um, carried the torch on with uh, not only just like the shop standards but just keeping the doors open and creating that great environment. So. I'm, I'm just really thankful that this community has shown so much support for, for what I'm doing over here. So, And obviously that support going a long way. Uh, 2023, you were the, uh, a runner-up for Goshen News Best of the Best Barbershop. And then this year in 2024, you got the honor of being the top barbershop in Goshen News Best of the Best. What's that like for you? What does that mean to be honored with that award? And uh, you know, how do you foresee that growing your shop and uh, getting more popularity? Um, it's been absolutely amazing. I, I haven't ever won an award, you know, or, right. or anything like that uh, that wasn't, you know, a big deal, you know. And I'm just so, so, so thankful. Uh, it's been amazing. This, this place wouldn't have existed in Denver. I wouldn't have been able to, to open up a shop in Denver. It was just too much out there. So the fact that I came in here and that, that keeps happening, you know, that this level of support, blown away, just blown away. And um, 
it just makes me really happy because they're not just supporting this shop. You're supporting my family, you know, and that's the most important thing to me is, is my family. So yeah, no, I, uh, I really hope that uh, that brought some eyes on to the barbershop to help get more people in here. And just like that, brand new haircut, feel like a new guy getting ready to walk out of the barbershop. Yeah. Sean, once again, really appreciate it, dude. Keep up the great work. You got a great spot. And uh, we're really looking forward to what you got going on in the future. All right, thank you very much. I appreciate you guys coming down. All right, I'm all trimmed up. I feel like a brand new man. Once again, this is Brawley's Barber Den on the corner of Main and Washington Street in downtown Goshen, the 2024 Goshen News Best of the Best Barbershop. Make sure you check them out. Sean Brawley, great guy. Thanks for having us once again. Reporting for Globe News, my name is Colin Eccles.